Welcome to Zeiss Pi Web Designer. Pi Web Designer is the Pi Web tool used to create, edit, and design Pi Web reports. These reports become templates that are viewed with Pi Web Monitor and populated with data from the Pi Web database. Pi Web Designer has a variety of tools ready for data display. You can modify or create tables, plots, and charts, integrate images and CAD models. Define preset filters, measurement selection, and interactive elements. In this video, we will do an overview and general navigation of Pi Web Designer. We will explore the user interface, how to create a new report, change element properties to customize the visualization and display of data, and customize report properties that affect the page preview in Pi Web Monitor. Let's get started. After installing Pi Web, Open the Zeiss Quality Suite to launch Pi Web Designer. Under My Applications, find Zeiss Pi Web and select the Pi Web Designer module. Click on Start. Alternatively, you can start it via the Microsoft Windows Start menu or via a shortcut on your desktop. The Start page offers you the option to create a new report or edit an existing one. You can select from recently used reports or from a list of generic reports. You can open generic or custom reports for editing. The Server tab shows you reports that are saved in Pi Web Report Management. The reports in this section are available for editing to authorized users. User access is defined in Pi Web Planner. For this tutorial, we will create a new report. To do that, click New Report on the Start Page menu. The center stage is the drawing area. In this area, you design the visual interface for each page of the report. Just like in Pi Web Monitor, you can zoom in and out by pressing the control key and the mouse wheel, move the page within the drawing area, or call up the zoom function in the menu bar. You can click on any icon on the toolbar to execute common tasks, such as save, create a new page, or open a new template. Clicking on the home icon takes you back to the start page. You can move the separator bar with the mouse to change the width of the drawing area. The left-hand area is your workspace. It is divided into six tabs, which we will discuss in a moment. On a new report, you typically start by adding a data provider. Go to the left menu and select Data Provider. You can select a server connection here, or in this case, we will open the training file to get started. Click on More, Open File, and select the QDB file. The data source will show all the parts available in your data set and you can display the characteristics list using the arrows to expand the view. At the part level, which has a blue paper clip icon, under additional data, you usually find the parts CAD model. Click and drag the part onto the drawing area, then select Image, CAD model. Notice the mesh model listed. Select that option for display. Excellent! You added your first element to the report. In the Toolbox tab, which you could also reach by pressing Ctrl plus 2, you will find a complete list of elements that you can use to design your Pi Web report. The elements are organized by groups. By right-clicking on a group header and selecting Open only one group at a time, you can change the behavior so that only one group is opened at a time. This simplifies the search for different elements. There are various methods of adding an element to the report and linking it to a data binding. The first option is to add an element. For example, you can select a line plot to the report either by double-clicking on the element or by drag and drop action. Elements can also be moved around using your mouse and resized using the margins. You must select the data source from the list of characteristics available in the Data Provider tab, which you can also reach by pressing Ctrl plus 3. 
Notice that while you have the element selected on the page, the characteristics allow us to click a checkbox. Any element that has a data binding will show the icon on the top left corner. Hovering your mouse over it will show what characteristic has been selected. Double clicking on this icon will display the selection under Data Provider. To retrieve the measurement data for the report page from the database in designer mode, press F5. The second option is to drag a characteristic from the inspection plan, data provider, onto the page and assign an element via the context menu. For example, you can drag the flatness characteristic, then select form plots, flatness. Resize the element. We then press F5 again to refresh the page. In the Properties tab, which you could also reach by pressing Ctrl plus 4, general details about the display or layout of the selected element can be adjusted. For example, on the Line Plot element, I would like to clearly display the measured values and enlarge the axis labeling. Now, on my Flatness plot, I want to adjust the magnification factor. Notice how the Properties tab changes depending on the element you have selected. If this is your preferred configuration, right-click on the element and select Use as Default. These settings will be set on the element moving forward. Now let's take a look at the Pages tab. You can also go there by pressing Ctrl plus 1. There you will see a list of the report pages you have created. Any Pi Web report has a master page by default. Elements added to the master page are displayed on all other pages. Some suggestions you can include on this page are company logos, page numbers, and header variables. Let's do this together. You can drag and drop the logo from the file directory, then position or resize it as needed. Header variables you can add are, for example, the current date or the part name. To do this, go back to the Toolbox tab, grab the text element, and place it where you want it. With text elements, right clicking on them gives you access to all variables stored in the dataset. If you select a variable from the data provider area, such as part name, make sure to select the corresponding part in the data provider tab. This sets the data binding to the text field. To create text elements even faster, use the keyboard shortcut, Ctrl plus T. Let's add a header and page number to our report. Let's use Starter Guide as the header for our example. You may have noticed that we have icons on the top of the report. As soon as I select one or several text fields, these icons give you the option of aligning and resizing the elements selected on the report page. To create additional pages for your report, go back to the Pages tab, click on the sheet icon with the green plus in the toolbar, or right-click in the Pages tab to open the context menu and select New Page. You will also find the Set Up Pages function in the context menu. Here you can set the page size and orientation. Keep in mind that the changes are applied to all pages. If you only want to apply the orientation to one page, right-click on the page and select the function Rotated. Another helpful tab is Page Structure. You can also reach this tab by pressing Ctrl plus 5. On this tab, all elements of the report page are displayed in a clear structure. This is particularly helpful for more elaborate and complex report pages where the elements overlap or are grouped together. In many cases, selecting the desired element in this overview is faster than finding it in the report page view. So far so good, let's move on to the next section. You can preview your report in Monitor View at any time. Click on the green arrow icon next to the Home button 
or press F11 on your keyboard. The view of that module is the same as any Pi Web Monitor user would have. On the left hand side, the measurement selection is visible for the Pi Web Monitor user by default. If the default settings are not suitable, this area can be customized in Pi Web Designer. To do that, close the Pi Web Monitor preview and edit the measurement selection. Go to the Data Provider tab, select the Measurements tab, click on the Configuration, Measurement Selection icon, select Configure Measurement Selection. In this dialog, you can remove Batch Number, add Operator, and change the displayed order. Close the window. With the additional Filters option, the Pi Web Monitor user can add their own measurement attributes for filtering. Let's preview the page in Pi Web Monitor again. As you can see, the changes were applied to the measurement selection area. Back in Pi Web Designer, we now make sure that our report is saved with all the settings we made. Go to File, Save Report. The report template can be saved in any location on your PC or on the network. We strongly recommend saving the reports in a place other users can access, if it is meant to be a report for general use. In this brief introduction of Pi Web Designer, we explored the user interface and learned how to create a new report from scratch. You learned how to add elements with data binding and how to customize the element properties. In the next video, we will show you how to use Pi Web Planner to manage the data stored on your Pi Web server or a data set from a file. You can book a more complete Pi Web training course via our contact form. You will find the link in the description.